it seems just fun at first. Like, of course, they're gonna nuke the site and we gotta get the money and there's zombies in there. And suddenly now you care about the zombies. You're like, wait, what? Like, why do I care about the zombies? That's how you get us hooked, Zach. Yes. Let us care yes. about the zombies, man. Yeah. <laughs> What the? They're not what you think they are. They're smarter. They're faster. They're organized. There you are. How are you, darling? Good to see you. Good to see you. Congratulations on the movie. Thank you. I just need to know, how does one go into pitch? Okay, we're doing a zombie heist movie with heart. It, it, weirdly, it's a very pitchable movie in that you could say, like, in a zombie-infested Las Vegas, they forgot to get the money out. And so we got to send a team of zombie expert killers in to get the money. I'll get him. The heart part will come later. Don't worry about that. <laughs> you sell them on the Vegas heist part. That's it. Correct. Got it. Correct. But I was wondering, do you sort of play into the tropes or do you subvert the tropes? It, it's a combo because I think that like you really want to deconstruct the tropes. I mean, that was sort of the thesis when, when I wrote the script. It seems just fun at first. Like, of course, they're going to nuke the site and we've got to get the money and there's zombies in there. And then like slowly you start to like pull those things apart and the sort of consequence and the why of it and the emotion and everyone's like now like you're really invested in these people and you want them to live and like and suddenly now you care about the zombies like wait what like why do i care about the zombies you know all of that is 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 really i think fun you know that's how you get us hooked zach yes let us care yes. about the zombies man yeah. <laughs> You ready to play? There's $200 million in the vault beneath the strip. With a 32 hour window to get it out. Find the safe. This should be a simple in and out. You've always been known as a very, very fan forward filmmaker. And I think that's what a lot of people appreciate. You give it like 110%. I mean, has that sort of changed the way you filmmake yeah because i'll say this the one thing that the fans have been very kind to me and the, the fans have been really supportive of me as an artist you know because for me what the fans have asked for is like just me doing it my way 100 percent. it's a lot of responsibility in the sense that you know you're like okay well don't disappoint us go and do it so that part is you know you feel a lot of responsibility but on the other hand the part that's amazing is that they're saying you know, we're going to support you as an artist. For that, I'm incredibly grateful. Talking about zombie movies, I mean, they come with the allegories. The best zombie movies, you have to have a political spin because that's what makes zombie movies amazing. Like, you know, it's a monster movie where we're the monster. And we really did endeavor to intertwine and interlace some sort of message about like, whether it be building a wall or refugee camps or the disease that is the zombie plague that's spreading and how we're dealing with that. We shot the movie before the pandemic and now like this whole world has like suddenly turned on its head. It's changed the movie in some ways, the way you look at it. But I, I think this message is still the same. It's just the lens that we see it. Absolutely. No better time than now to have a movie like this. Thank you, Zach. Romero did it for that time. Yeah. You're doing it for our time. Oh, cool. We appreciate it. Always so great to talk to you. It's good to see you. Great to talk to you. I'll see you again soon, I'm sure. Congrats on the movie. No wind to fold up. No wind to walk the And no wind to run. You never count your wind. When you're sitting at the table, there'll be time enough to count. When the deal's done, done, done. What is this? Damn zombie tiger. That's crossing the line. You got the wind.
Ciao.